everyone. There's been a whole lot of conversation in the last couple of days about a killer whale named Morgan. And there is a video going around of Morgan sliding out. And some people are saying that this isn't normal behavior. So I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about the slide out behavior. You know, in my tenure here at SeaWorld, I've been here almost 30 years and, and I've been around killer whales that long. And I've seen them slide up for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, even 30 minutes on their own while they're playing with others, while they're interacting with others. Um, and when I saw that video of Morgan, I was thinking, well, why might Morgan be doing this? She might be playing. But Morgan is at least hearing impaired and probably deaf, so she might have been getting out of the water so she could take a better look around. Here at SeaWorld, we actually train the side out behavior, and that's not only so people can see the enormous sizes of the killer whales, but it's also uh, for husbandry purposes. They're completely agile. These guys are amazingly adept to being able to move their body around. Um, we train them to slide over the slide overs and that's something they do on their own anytime we give them access to it. And sometimes they'll stop right in the middle of the slide over, not going one way or the other. Um, and they'll spend a good amount of time up there just kind of hanging out, watching what else is going on. So killer whales sliding out of the water is a perfectly natural behavior. We see it here at SeaWorld, we see it in parks around the world, and we see it in the wild. And I know some of you were really concerned about Morgan, but rest assured, she is absolutely fine. She's doing great. She slid right back into the water about 10 minutes after she slid out, and she's doing great today.